Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making another potion. Hey, we're going to be making the Vampire Tonic. And we're going to be starting with a nice glass container that I believe actually had some bath salts in it. I'm not quite sure. We didn't actually end up using the bath salts and gave them away to somebody else, but kept the container. And I had those old vampire teeth that we're going to be using and hot gluing some wires that are bent at a nice 90 degree angle. And then to build up these teeth, we're going to be using cellular clay. Cellular clay is just kind of like a paper mache like clay where you just mix some water and the actual cellular clay with it. The best way to work with cellular clay is to actually use wet fingers when you're pressing the mixture onto the uh, surface that you're trying to mix it with. It sticks pretty good to everything, but if it has a wet finger, it won't stick to your finger, so you can actually make it smooth and try to create the actual shape and design that you're trying to make. So it's definitely a good thing to keep wet in your finger and keep an, a nice bowl of, of water close by when you're trying to make this. After it dries, which takes a long time, we're going to use some white glue and take some old cloth and to make the actual vampire wings out of it, or the bat wings. We just cover the whole thing in the white glue and just fold it over and keep that cloth, make sure we press it together to make it stick. And we just, again, let that dry. And after it is dry, it'll be easy to cut into shape, uh, any shape that you want it to actually be in to get those nice pointed wings that bats have. And then of course, we'll have to paint the whole thing black or any color, any color bat wings that you want. I'm doing mine black and to cover the whole thing black. Make sure you subscribe. We make props every Monday to follow along. Also, I've made other potions, so I'll be throwing up some links of other potions I've made so you can follow along and see all the other cool stuff I've made. I am making a label here and just gluing that on with some more white glue. And then uh, using uh, some nice ivory and some white paint to cover in the teeth to bring those teeth back out. And then using that same paint, I'm just going to do a dry brush over all of the black just to bring that texture back out to really bring detail back in. And to finish this off, I'm actually going to make some vampire ashes. Uh, we're just burning some paper, just straight up burning some paper. I suggest not doing this in a plastic bowl like I am. And then using a funnel to put it straight into our, con our container that we just made. And then we're actually making these vampire ashes instead of a tonic. I changed my mind halfway through. And that is okay. Thanks for watching that video. I have a whole list of other potions I've made. So don't forget to go and check out some of those. I'll put a link up of a few of them for you to go check out. Also, with a potion means that we are working on a secret project where we'll combine all of our potions. So that's probably coming pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe to follow along to check out what our secret project's gonna be. I took this label from a blog that I follow that he hasn't posted anything on this blog for a long time, uh, but he gave it to everyone to use, so. I thought I'd check it out, and because of that, I'll put a link in the description for you to go check out his blog. Hopefully he comes back. He makes some pretty cool stuff. So I actually have some little stains on uh, on the actual label there. That actually came from just uh, leaving it next to your props while I was painting other ones. But that adds to it. Makes it better. <laughs>